Everyone's talking about real-time voice AI, and there's one company claiming they've cracked the code on latency that's been driving developers absolutely insane. I've been testing Cartesia AI's Sonic model, and honestly, the speed claims sound almost too good to be true. But here's the thing. They just raised $64 million in Series A funding, so someone clearly believes in what they're building. <clears throat> Let me cut straight to what Cartesia actually is. It's a voice synthesis platform built around their Sonic model, which they claim delivers text-to-speech with under 100 milliseconds of latency. To put that in perspective, most other voice AI tools are sitting somewhere between 400 to 800 milliseconds. That's the difference between a conversation that feels natural and one that feels like you're talking to a robot with a thinking delay. The voice quality is genuinely impressive. I've tested it against Eleven Labs, which has been the gold standard for many creators, and Cartesia holds its own in terms of naturalness and emotional range. The voices don't have that slightly robotic undertone that gives away its AI generated. What really surprised me is how well it handles complex phrases and technical terms that usually trip up voice synthesis models. Here's where it gets interesting though. Cartesia supports 15 languages natively, and they're not just doing basic translation. They can localize voices to specific accents and regional speech patterns. So if you need a British accent speaking German or an American accent speaking Japanese, it can actually pull that off convincingly. Most other platforms either don't offer this flexibility or it sounds completely unnatural when they try. The voice cloning feature is where things get really powerful. They offer instant cloning that can replicate a voice from just a few seconds of audio, which is wild if you think about it. I tested it, and honestly, the quality is way better than you'd expect from such a small sample. For most use cases, it's probably sufficient without needing their more expensive pro cloning option. Let's be real about pricing, because this is where things get complicated. Cartesia charges three cents per minute of generated audio. That might sound reasonable until you start doing the math on real usage. If you're generating content regularly, those costs add up fast. Their free tier gives you roughly 15 to 20 minutes of speech, which is fine for testing, but you'll hit limits quickly on anything commercial. Now, here's something that might make you uncomfortable. By default, Cartesia uses your data to improve their models. You can opt out, but it's not the default setting. If you're dealing with sensitive content, you need to be careful about this. It's buried in their terms, and most users probably don't realize their audio content might be helping train future models. The API documentation is actually pretty solid, which is refreshing. I've worked with voice AI platforms where integration felt like solving a puzzle with missing pieces. Cartesia's documentation is clear. They provide useful code examples. And if you're a developer, you'll appreciate that they've thought through the integration experience. But there's a catch worth mentioning. Because Cartesia is optimized for speed, they've made trade-offs in customization. You can't fine-tune models the way you can with some competitors. You're working within their predetermined voice profiles and settings. For most users, this isn't a problem, but if you need highly specific voice characteristics, you might find their options limiting. Here's my honest take after using it for several weeks. Cartesia excels if speed is your primary concern. If you're building real-time applications, voice assistance, or anything where conversational flow matters more than perfect customization, it's genuinely impressive. The voice quality is solid, the language support is broad, and the latency advantage is real, even if it's not quite as dramatic as advertised. However, if you're doing content creation where you have time to process audio, or if budget is a major consideration, you might get better value elsewhere. Eleven Labs offers comparable quality with more customization options. Cartesia's sweet spot is really that intersection of quality, speed, and real-time applications. So should you use Cartesia AI? If you're building something that needs real-time voice generation, if latency is genuinely impacting your user experience, or if you need reliable multi-language support, it's worth trying. Their free tier gives you enough runway to test without committing to their pricing structure. But if you're just looking for high-quality voice synthesis for content creation, or if you're price-sensitive and don't need the speed advantage, there are probably better options that'll give you more bang for your buck. This helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.